30 NATO allies signed protocols for Sweden and Finland's membership, sending the two countries' applications to the alliance's capitals for legislators' approval. The move adds to Russia's strategic isolation after its invasion of neighboring Ukraine in February and military action there since then. This is truly a historic moment for Finland, Sweden, and NATO, said Alliance Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. The 30 ambassadors and permanent representatives formally endorsed the decisions of last week's NATO summit, when the alliance made the historic move to invite Russia's neighbor Finland and Nordic partner Sweden to join the military club. However, receiving parliamentary approval for new members in Turkey could still be a problem, even though Sweden, Finland, and Turkey signed a memorandum of understanding at the recent summit in Madrid. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan warned that Ankara could block the process if the two countries do not agree to Turkey's demands for the extradition of people it considers terror suspects. Stoltenberg, meanwhile, said he didn't expect any changes. There were security problems that had to be solved. And we did what we always do in NATO. We found a common ground. The Russian invasion of Ukraine gave more urgency to the process. It would strengthen the two countries in the Western military alliance and give NATO more influence, especially in the face of Moscow's military threat. At a press conference, the Swedish and Finnish foreign ministers were asked whether the memorandum specified the persons to be extradited to Turkey. Both ministers said such a list was not part of the agreement. We will fully fulfill the memorandum. Of course, there are no lists or anything like that in the memorandum, but what we will do is cooperate better when it comes to terrorists, Swedish Foreign Minister Ann Lind said. Finnish Foreign Minister Pekka Havisto was adamant. Everything that was agreed in Madrid is written in the document. There are no hidden documents or any agreements behind it, Havisto said. Each country in the alliance has its own legislative problems and procedures, and it may be several more months before they become official members. I look forward to a quick ratification process, Havisto said. Meanwhile, the protocols of the two countries already led to a closer engagement with NATO. As close partners, they previously attended some meetings to discuss issues that directly affected them. As official invitees, they can attend all meetings, even if they do not yet have the right to vote.